Hello, first grade. It's Miss Blamey here with this week's foundations. I want to get started today with our vowel sounds. I want you to give it a try and then I'll say it. Here we go. I itch I. A apple a. E ed e. U up uh. Good job. Let's do our glued sounds. I'll say it and then you repeat after me. Here we go. A in fan and. A M ham am. A L L ball all. I N G ring ing. A N K bank ank. A N G fang ang. O N G song ong. U N G lung ung. I N K pink ink. O N K honk onk. U N K junk unk. Great job. All right, last but not least, let's do our R controlled vowels. Remember, when vowels are next to the letter R, it can sometimes change the sound. So it's good for us to know these sounds, especially when we're reading and don't know a word. A R car R. O R horn or. E R her er. I R bird er. Last one. You are burn er. Great job. Let's keep working. Okay, first grade, we have been talking about blends. We know that blends in words are made up of two or more consonants right next to each other. And we have to tap out all those sounds, okay? Blends cannot be a vowel. We know that. Today, we're gonna talk about blends but this time we're gonna talk about blends that have the suffix S. Remember, a suffix S is when there's an S on the end of a word, and it might make the word plural, more than one, or it could be an action word. So take a look at some of my words that have blends and a suffix S. When I come across a word that has a suffix S, I can cover that S up to figure out the base word. Flag, flag, which means the whole word is flags. This is how you mark up a word that has a suffix S. Remember, we scoop our base word flag, circle our suffix S. I see my blend full. It gets two separate marks because they're separate sounds. All right, let's see if you can do another one. You tried this word. Remember, you don't have to sound out the suffix S, just the base word. D, r, um, drum. With the suffix S, it makes the word drums. We scoop the base word drum, circle our suffix S. Do you see a blend? Remember, U is a vowel, it cannot be part of the blend. D-R, dr. Good job. Try this one. Good. Frog is the base word. Frog. So the whole word is frogs. Scoop our base word, circle the suffix. I see my blend, fr. Try this one. D -r -up, drop. The whole word is drops. Scoop the base word. Circle the suffix s. Dr is our blend. I 
I see a glued sound. That's right. K -l am clam. The whole word is clams. Scoop my base word and circle the suffix. I see am a glued sound. Cl is my blend. All right, a couple more. Try this one. K -o -ip. Clip. The whole word is clips. Do you see the blend? Cl -cl. All right, and last one. This one is a little challenging. Let's see how you do with this one. Shred, shred. The whole word is shreds. I scoot my base word shred. Circle the suffix s. I see a digraph sh. It makes one sound, so it gets one underline. Do you see what letter the digraph is blending with? That's right. Sure. This is a digraph blend. It blends with a digraph. Very good. Way to go, friends. Let's keep learning. Hey, guys. Now let's do our trick words. I'm going to give you a chance to try, and then I'll say it. Here we go. Do. Does. Are. Were. Who. What. When. Where. There. Here. Why, by, my, try. Put two like the number. Two again, but this kind means extra, very, or also. Very. Also, some come, would, could, should. And here are some new ones this week. Her, over, number. Way to go, friends. Okay, friends, grab your dry erase board, your manipulative pack or a piece of paper, and let's do some dictation today. I'm gonna start with some letter sounds to get us going. I want you to write the letters that glue together and say, unk, unk. Just like in the word junk, unk. U N K says unk. Good job. Write two different ways to make the w w w sound. W w w like wind or whisper. W w. That's right. You could just have a plain old W. But sometimes we see the digraph W H. All right, write the vowel that makes the sound i, 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 like igloo. That's right, it's the letter I. Write the glued sound where the letters glue together and say all, all, a, l, l. Good job. And a last sound, write the digraph that says th, 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 like thumb. Th, th. Very good. It is T H. Awesome job. Let's do some words now. 
I'm gonna clear mine so that I have room to do all five of my words. Pause this video if you need more time. The first word I'm gonna start with is the word stuff. Stuff. The sounds are stuff, stuff. Uh, I noticed something is missing. That's right, it's the bonus F. Remember when we have a short word that ends with an F or an L or an S, it usually needs a bonus letter. Let's mark that up with a star. Do you see the blend in this word? Remember, a blend is two or more consonants right next door to each other. They make separate sounds. St is right. Good job. Try the word press. Press. Press the button to turn on the computer. Press. P -r -s. P -r -s. Hey, there's another bonus S. Remember when it's a short word and ends with an F? an S, and sometimes L, you need a bonus letter. Do you see my blend in this word? Which letters blend together? Pr, pr, pr. Very good. Try the word pinch. Pinch. It is not kind to pinch. P, I, N, CH. I, pin, pinch. Very good. Do you see the digraph on the end that makes one sound? Ch, ch. What letter blends with the digraph? That's right, the letter N. Inch, inch. That's a digraph blend. Good job. All right, try the word brags brags the base word is brag b r a g then we add something to make it say brags b r a g what do i add to make brag say brags the suffix s that's right sometimes suffix s can sound like a z Brags. Let's mark it up. Scoop your base word. Circle your suffix. Do you see a blend in this word? B R br br br. And let's do one more word. Let's do the word vest. Vest. I'm going to wear a vest to keep me warm. V e s. Vest. Very good. Do you see a blend in the word vest? I do. It's S-T. St. St. All right. Let's do a sentence together. Pause this video if you need more time. I need to clear my board. Let's do the sentence. Could Jill munch on her plum? Could Jill munch on her plum? You try it first. Pause this video and give it a shot. Could Jill munch on her plum? Could is a trick word. It tries to trick us. Make sure you start with a capital letter. Could has this silent L in there that does nothing. Could, Jill is a name. Let's start with a capital J. J, I, O. Jill is a short name that ends with an L. We need a bonus L. Could Jill munch? M, mm, M, mm, uh, Mun, Munch. Could Jill munch 
on her. That's one of our trick words this week. We know ER says er. Could Jill munch on her plum? P -l um. P -l um. Could Jill munch on her plum? Hey, this is an asking sentence. That's right, it's a question. Could Jill munch on her plum? So we need a question mark. Pause this video if you need more time. You guys did awesome. Okay, friends, grab your notebook or your dry erase or a piece of paper, and let's do our word of the day cards this week. We have two to do this week. I'm gonna turn to the next clean page in my journal. And I want you to try to read my word today. Remember, you don't have to sound out the suffix S. B -l -f. We also don't have to sound out both of our bonus Fs. B -l -f. Bluff. So what is the whole word? Bluffs. Very good. Let's write it. And then we'll mark it up. What do you notice about this word? All right, that's right. We can scoop our base word bluff and circle the suffix S. Oh, I see a bonus F. Do you see the blend in this word? Bull, bull. Good job. Bluffs is a word that can describe steep cliffs. So we can make a sentence together or you can come up with your own. I'm going to make the sentence, the bird flew over the steep bluffs. The bird, bird flew, flew. The bird flew over the Eep. Bluffs. Pause this video to give yourself more time. Great job. Let's do our next word. You tap it out. B -l -o -c. Block. Block. Let's write it. What do you notice about this word? I see a digraph on the end. CK says K, one sound. I also see a blend. What two letters make my blend? Bull, bull. Good job. You can make a sentence or you can write the same one as me. Pause this video if you need time. I'm gonna use the sentence, she used a block to build her tower. She used a block to build her tower. Pause this video if you need more time. You guys did fantastic today. All right, guys, 
Last thing before you go today, I want to talk about something we talk about in first grade called syllables. I'm sure you've heard of the word syllable before. Syllables are parts that make up words. So, in thinking about parts of words, let's look at this one. That's right, this word is cat. It has three sounds, but it actually only has one syllable or part. When I say cat, there is one syllable. Now, look at my next word. Catnip. Catnip has more than one part. Listen, catnip has two parts. So it has two syllables. We can do this with all kinds of words that we say, like the word dog. Dog has one syllable, but the word water has two syllables. Think about a big word like watermelon. Watermelon has four syllables. So there are all kinds of syllables that we read when we're learning. And today I wanna to talk about one kind of syllable called a closed syllable. A closed syllable is part of a word or it could be a whole word and it only has one vowel and the vowel has to be closed in on the end by another letter to be a closed syllable. So let's look at some words to decide if they are closed and why they are a closed syllable. Another rule for closed syllables is that the one vowel that's closed in always makes its short sound. Short sounds are the sounds we know of the vowels, like a, a, e, e, i, i, o, a, and u, a. Take a look at my word. B, at, bat. Bat has one syllable. Let's scoop the word. Bat. It has one scoop, one syllable. Does it have one vowel? Yes, an A. Is the vowel closed in by another letter on the end? Yeah, it's closed by the T. So this word is closed. I put a C for closed. And I know the A makes its short sound, ah. So I put a little brev over top. That's a special word that tells us the A says, ah. It's short sound. Look at this one. B -a -th. I know I can underline my TH. It makes one sound. Let's see. Bath. How many parts does bath have? Bath. Just one. So it gets one scoop. Does it have one vowel? Yes. A is the one vowel. Is the vowel closed in by something on the end? Yeah, it's closed in by the TH. So this is a closed syllable. A makes the short sound, so we put a brief B -a -th. Good job. Let's try some more. Slip, slip. Is this word closed? Does it have one vowel? Oh yeah, the I. Is the vowel closed in by something on the end? Oh yeah, it's closed in by the P. This word is closed. The I says I. Hey, I see a blend. All right, let's do another. B -r -ag, brag. Does it have one vowel? Is the vowel closed in? Yes, this word is closed. Brag, brr is a blend. Let's do one more. 
milk milk one vowel closed by the l and the k yes the i says i milk ulk is our blend all right let's see if you can notice if a word is closed or not let's look at some I'll keep this here so that you remember a closed syllable has one vowel closed in on the end. Take a look at my words and let's decide which ones are closed, which ones are not. Let's look at this word first. Such. Does it have one vowel? Yeah, the U. Is the U closed in by something on the end? Yeah, it's closed in by ch. So we have a closed syllable, which means the U says it's short sound. Ugh. Let's try this one. She. Does it have one vowel? Yes. Is the vowel closed on the end? No, this is not a closed syllable. E is not closed on the end. She, the E does not say it's short eh, eh sound. Let's move on to the next one. Don't let me trick you. It, is there one vowel? Yes. Is the I closed on the end? Yes, the T closes it on the end. It doesn't have to be closed at the front only at the end. So this word is closed. The I says I. All right, last one. Boat. Does it have one vowel? No, it doesn't. It's got two. So this word is not closed. Remember, a closed syllable only has one vowel closed in on the end which gives the vowel its short sound. We're gonna keep practicing these this week and into next. You did an amazing job today. Way to go.